We're going to learn how to play song number 49, Two Ways to Play It. In this song, we're going to learn about the new note C sharp. A C sharp is played with no fingers, so it's really easy. Um, if you look at the very beginning of the line, you do have an F sharp in the key signature, which means all your F sharp signs, the hashtag sign to the very beginning of the line, it does mean that all your F sharps are middle finger. But it doesn't say anything about a C sharp. So the first five measures of the song are all going to be regular regular C's middle finger. So let's just try the very beginning of the song for now. We have G, A, B, regular C. Here we go. Let's play those four notes. Ready? And then we're going to slur C to B. So remember slurring means that you're going to connect the two notes without stopping the sound. And then we have A, B, C. The next two notes are A and B. Ready? Play. Now, the next note, take a look. See how it has the hashtag or the sharp in music we call it a sharp? Do you see how it has a sharp in front of it? That means that that particular note, they want you to play C sharp, no fingers. So you're going to play C sharp, and then you're going to go to the D. So no fingers, and then to the D, which is everything. Ready? Play. Good. Now, the very next measure, their eighth notes, you're going to slur the D to the C sharp. It has another sharp in front of that C. So we're going to connect the D to nothing C. Ready? Play. And then the next two notes are B, and then you have another C. But notice, this C does not have a sharp sign in front of it. But it is in the same measure as another C sharp. So what that means is that it's also going to be a C-sharp. What they do is they get lazy and they're like, oh, there's a C-sharp in the beginning of that square measure. We don't have to put it on the, um, the next note um, again unless we want to change it. So because they do not alter put it, uh, uh, or because they do not alter or change that next note C, it means that it is still a C-sharp. So you're going to play those last three notes, B, C-sharp, D. So that last C is a C sharp as well. Here we go. So those last two measures are going to sound like this. D, C sharp, and then B, C sharp, D. Remember the first two notes are slurred. Ready? Play. Let's start from the very beginning of the song. We'll walk through it one more time. So remember, the beginning of the song are just regular C's middle finger. So at the very beginning of the song, we have G, A, B, C natural. Ready? Play. <laughs> then we're slurring C to B. And then we have A, B, C. Ready? Two. And play. <laughs> we have A, B, just play those two notes. Now we do have a C sharp, so it's no fingers. C sharp and then D. Ready? Play. The next measure, we're slurring D to C sharp. And then B, C sharp. And then you're going to play your D. Great. So let's play through the whole entire song in a metronome marking of 70. Try your best to stay along with the beat, and here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Great job. I can't wait to hear your recordings.